why are slots so slow? You may have wondered sometime in your life, why are these slots so 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 slow? Like pacing your car when it's low on fuel, slots move slowly to conserve energy as well. In fact, they move slower than any other mammal on earth. The arboreal animals are known for taking their sweet time getting around, usually trekking no farther than 125 feet, about 38 meters in a day. On the rare occasions when they are on the ground, sloths crawl at a glacial pace of just about 5 feet per minute. This sluggishness has earned sloths a negative reputation in the human world. Even one of the seven deadly sins share their name. Yet, that sloth's lethargic nature allows it to make the most of its surrounding resources. Hey guys, a small request. If you are enjoying this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell button. Check out my fact page on Instagram with its link down below. Sloths have little energy at their disposal for darting around at fast speeds because of their herbivorous diet. Native to the Americas, sloths spend most of their life nestled between or hanging upside down from tree branches in tropical rainforests in Central and South America. Cecropia trees were named sloth trees because people thought sloths preferred their leaves. However, extensive observation has shown that sloths feed on many tree species. When hunger strikes, sloths simply reach out to the nearest available branch, pull it up close and tear the leaves off with their lips. You probably wouldn't move around too quickly either if you had a permanently stocked mini fridge within your arm's length. But imagine if you ate nothing but salad greens for a week without taking in any fats or protein. You probably wouldn't have a ton of excess energy to say sprint around the block. Likewise, sloth's diet, which may also include fruits, flower buds and branches, don't provide much nutrition. To compensate, sloths have a host of adaptations in order to slow their pace that allow them to survive on such a lean diet. Members of the Senata superorder, sloths are related to anteaters and armadillos, not monkeys. There are two types of sloths, two-toed and three-toed. Trying to spot a sloth in a zoo can be like hunting through a Wiz Waldo illustration. For starters, they prefer to remain tucked away among the tree foliage during the day. And of course, sloths aren't especially active. Although, new research indicates that we may have exaggerated the laziness. A 1983 study found out that captive sloths slept 16 hours out of the day, which put them among the heaviest snoozers in the animal kingdom. Yet, results of a different study published in 2008 revealed an interesting contrast between captive and wild sloths. According to the data from the 2008 study conducted at the Max Planck Institute for Ornithology in Germany, wild sloths sleep far less than their captive cousins, napping only 9 to 10 hours each day. This probably has to do with food availability and general boredom, since captive sloths' meals are provided for them. Along with a substantial amount of time spent sleeping, sloths conserve energy by breaking down their food much slower than most animals. While it takes the human body about a day to digest a meal fully, the sloth digestive system spends up to a month doing so. In addition to lowered internal body temperatures, sloth's metabolic rate is about 40 to 45 percent slower than comparably sized mammals. That means the sloth's body requires less energy to work, allowing it to thrive on such a sparse diet. In spite of this lower pace, both internally and externally, sloths continue to function efficiently. For example, sloths have about half the muscle mass as other animals their size. But that doesn't handicap them from a utilitarian perspective. Sure, put a sloth on the ground and it's not strong enough to walk on its hind legs. But that's because it doesn't need much lower body strength in the trees. Rather, the muscles are concentrated in the upper body and forelimbs. On the ground, the sloth uses its forelimbs to drag its body forward. And in the trees, sloths can easily pull themselves up and hang from branches for hours on end. And even when leaves are scarce, the sloth doesn't have to look too far for a snack. 
though their fur contains tinges of green which helps them hide from predators, this camouflage isn't pigment, it's algae. Since sloths live in naturally humid areas, algae sometimes form in the grooves in the individual strands of fur. Sloths can then lick their fur and get some additional nutrition from this algae accessory, a snack anytime you want. Well, that's it. The reasons why slots are so 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 slow. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one. Bye bye.